Hello friend, welcome to Mechanical uh, Design Adda. So in this video, we will discuss the core and cavity in the mold. So what, what is meant by core and cavity? How we can easily identify the core and cavity? So we will discuss in this video. So here you can see, uh, these are the two half of the mold. So this one is the first half of the mold and this one is the second uh, half of the mold. And if you combine these two molds or if you assemble these two mold, so in that there, there will be the empty space and that empty space is for the uh, uh, product shape or you can say the required part shape. So he, uh, the red highlighted this, uh, uh, this one is the product, required product. Okay, so generally this core and cavity are uh, the terms generally used in the mold. Okay, so the core side is nothing but the extended material. So in the mold, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, half of the mold, so the this one is the extended material. So this extended material is generally referred as a core. Okay, and it is generally form the internal features or the internal surface of the part. Okay, and the cavity generally form the external surface of the Part. okay so here uh, the this is the projected material so in that uh, way also we can identify this side is the core side of the mold and the the here you can see the material here is cut out and this side is a cavity side of the mold okay and you can see here the projected into the mold cavity and shape inside uh, inside of the part hold recesses and the other internal features. So these features are generally uh, formed uh, in the core side and the cavity side is gen uh, for the hollow space where the plastic material feel and solidify to form the external surface of the part. And this core is generally uh, uh, located in the ejector side or you can say the mo uh, moving side and uh, this cavity is generally located at the stationary side of the mold so there are uh, two types of mold generally one mold is a fix uh, and uh, another half of the mold is a movable so so this cavity is generally uh, for the fixed half of the mold okay is located at the fixed half of the mold and core side is generally located at the ejector side means uh, this core is movable okay so in that way also we can identify the core and cavity so here this one is the example so this is the part and for this part there are two half of the mold so one is a movable mold and second one is the stationary mode so this one is uh, from uh, stationary mode we are injecting the material through the gate and runner and here from the movable mold we have the ejector pin uh, we can imagine like that okay so this movable mold we generally call it as a core side and the stationary mold we can call it as a cavity side because here the material is removed from the uh, removed and the cavity is formed so this one is the cavity uh, cavity and here the material is extended extended from the mold surface so this one is the core side so what it will form so this core form the internal surfaces you can see here so this core from the internal surface and the cavity from the external surface. This is the external surface. So now how we can identify the core and cavity easily. So just now we have discussed uh, how uh, what is the core and cavity. So in the uh, on the basis of that. So like uh, uh, parting line orientation. So this one is the parting line. So uh, the external surfaces. Uh, or the outer surfaces it comes under the cavity and the inside surface it, it comes under the core okay and then the uh, inside uh, and the outside features like these are the in, inside surface and the outside surface just I told inside surface comes under the core and outside surface comes under the cavity then the location in the mold uh, where uh, uh, movable mold or the stationary mold the stationary mold Gen, uh, generally the cavity it will be on the cavity side and the movable mold it is generally on the core side and the undercuts are the internal details so undercuts like 
undercuts hole recesses it comes under the core side and then the ejector pin so generally the ejector pins are uh, uh, means uh, for, uh, ejector pins are generally on the movable side and on the movable side there will be the uh, core side so there is there will there will be the extended uh, material so this extended material you can see this one is the core side so uh, now take some example like uh, you can see the, this material is removed from this mold so this one is a cavity side and this material is extended from the mold surface so it is a core side and here also you can see this one is the cavity this one is the core and this one is a part and here you can see this one is a uh, uh, core and this one is a cavity and uh, this one is a core and this one is a cavity so likewise the same uh, uh, you can directly uh, say uh, the extended material here so it is a core and the material is removed from this surface uh, from the surface so it is cavity side so with the visualization you can directly uh, identify the core and cavity so here you can see this one is a core and this one is a cavity so i hope uh, uh, you clear with the core and cavity concept so these are the very important terms generally used in the mold so i hope you like this video and you understand the core and cavity so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel so thank you for watching see you in the next video